illuminates in the chamber, can comes down. At five in total, mechanism involved, sorting, loading, counting, energy transformation, as well as crushing. That's what judges are looking for, as they determine which can crusher squashes the rest. First-year engineering students at UBC Okanagan worked in groups of six for approximately three months to build the ultimate can crusher. The project was then unveiled and tested on campus. Uh, what makes a good can crusher is, first of all, safety. You want to be able to crush the cans without having too many exposed parts, but then also uh, a good sorting mechanism. So you want to be able to tell the difference between a large can, a small can, and a medium-sized regular Pepsi can. So uh, our machine does all of that very effectively. And everyone's got a reason why their project smashes the rest. Well, it's the fastest for sure. Um, we crash we crash three cans at once in a cylinder motion, and it beats the piston because it can only crush one or it's lower. Okay, so it's gonna drop through here and crush right here. The can crusher experiment is part of a project-based learning curriculum taking place at the university. This was one of the projects the students did uh, during APSI 170, which is engineering fundamentals. And as name suggests, it deals with engineering fundamental concept, meta skills such as problem solving, failure analysis, and coming up with the best solution by giving certain criteria. The top three crushers will be put on display, while the rest will be dismantled and parts will be recycled for next year's class. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.